Yes, that's right, I've put the proper intro in this time so you can all chill out. What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, Ostian. I hope you lot are doing well and welcome to today's video, which is another Chelsea news video to help you lot through the international break, giving you the <laughs> Chelsea-related information, news stories, and often nonsense. And today, we're going to be taking you through all that kind of stuff, and we're doing three stories for you guys. The first being how Conor Gallagher continues to impress now for country as well as for club, and how really maybe he should be considered to be recalled and possibly be a Ross Barkley replacement. Story number two, how coach Frank Lampard is thinking of bringing in Shea Given to help out Kepa Riza Balaga, who we all know is a very talented goalkeeper, but perhaps his form is coming into question of late. And finally, the sensational headline that is actually being published across loads of different platforms, how Florentino Perez and indeed Zinedine Zidane, easy for me to say, are eyeing up Callum hudson Adoy as a future Galactico Real Madrid player. I know. So, a lot to crack into, but before we do so, I want to give you guys a reminder to subscribe to the channel if you've not yet done so. Please do click subscribe, and more importantly, click the bell notifications button. That's important. And like the video, please. Sweet, let's get into it. Let's start with young Chelsea Academy player Loney Connor Gallagher. Gallagher looks very, very bright for Chelsea in pre-season when Frank Lampard first arrived. Looks very good on the ball, looks very assured. He's quite a sort of built up lad. It all looks kind of positive. He went on loan down in the championships at Coventry and has basically had quite an explosive season so far. He's scoring a bunch of goals, great goals. He's looking incredibly good on the ball and basically a superbly accomplished midfielder. He scored again for England under-21s in their 3-0 win last night and looked very, very good indeed. He is impressing across all competitions and both for club and country. Now let's think about it for a second. He did look like he was comfortable playing with the Chelsea first team and Chelsea are considering selling Ross Barkley even in January apparently. Kind of makes sense he's got difficult competition Barkley and he's probably not happy with not being first choice and Chelsea as a club could absolutely double their money on him he's a full England international he's got loads of first team experience he's in his prime in terms of age and they bought him for 15 million so they could easily sell him for 30 million in my opinion. Chelsea have been linked with another midfielder like Milinkovic Savic who would probably cost 80 to 85 million pounds. Milinkovic Savic is an attacking midfielder but if Chelsea want to continue the ethos and philosophy of bringing through their own and nurturing world-class academy talent Conor Gallagher can fit that mold absolutely he could come replace Ross Barkley and happily be number two to Mason Mount in that number 10 spot and it looks like he's talented enough so for me that kind of makes a lot of sense whether he's recalled in January or not or they just wait till the summer and bring him back Chelsea need to sort of be safe in the knowledge that they've got this gem and they don't necessarily need to waste loads of money on a midfielder when they could say buy Ben Chilwell at left back for an obscene amount of money that he'd cost or who knows maybe even Jadon Sancho or another sort of world-class right winger. Before we move on to the absurd story about Callum hudson Adoy at the end of the video, let's talk about Chelsea goalkeeper Kepa Aritha Balaga. Frank Lampard has worked with Shea Given before and he's a goalkeeping coach and he wants to bring him to Chelsea now to help with his goalkeeper, Kepa. Wow, I kind of said that in a peculiar robotic way. Anyway, obviously Lampard trusts the former Ireland international to help out his young Spanish goalkeeper. Kepa is an incredibly, incredibly talented young goalkeeper Spain's number one very very good footballing technical goalkeeper and obviously cost a world record fee I know context is required because it was a buyout clause da, 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 da. still we've seen Kepa pull off some magnificent saves and penalty saves in the Europa League semi-final you know shot stopping hero he's done some point saving saves this season at the final seconds of games you know high high profile saves very very good but there's moments when he's looking shaky sometimes he plays out dangerous passes to say to Mori or I don't know if it's moments when he's not sure of himself but there are little shaky moments that probably could be ironed out so he could reach the top top level that he's essentially capable of reaching recently there was a stat that Kepper had conceded the most shots he'd faced in the Premier League he was 
rock bottom. Now, considering he's the keeper that costs the most money, you'd think that's kind of peculiar. Again, context is required for that statistic because the way Chelsea were playing, they were leaving themselves really vulnerable with space between the defence and the midfield and balls getting squared and carved open. There's very little a goalkeeper can do when a ball's squared across them and put in. That's a shot faced and a shot conceded. So you need to be a little bit forgiving when you look at that statistic against Kepa and think well Chelsea are all over the gaff defensively early doors this season they're playing a high octane direct style of attacking football that pretty much left the back line and more so Kepa super vulnerable but the truth is Aruza Balaga is a very very talented goalkeeper he's still quite young and we've seen him on the ball he's very very good he's a very good sweeping keeper and you know what he's amazing at like maybe the best I've seen it in the Premier League at the moment. Sure, Edison, Allison might be the best goalkeepers at the moment in terms of how assured they are. You know, you'll see Edison getting an assist from a kickoff and they're both very good footballers and shot stoppers. But in terms of starting position off his line, there's no one better than Kepa Ruiz Balaga, the way he comes out and meets the ball. We've seen Edison do it and make mistakes from doing it. You don't really see Allison do it as much. Maybe that's something to do with the way Liverpool play. But Kepa is superb at it. He's a great footballer like Allison and Edison. He's a great shot stopper like both of them. Maybe he's a little bit shorter so he doesn't quite reach the corners of the goal but he's basically got it all in his locker and the way he can come out, sniff danger and sweep up, he's very very good and he will get better and better and maybe to achieve that target of getting better and better a new goalkeeping coach needs to be brought into the club and why not trust Frank Lampard at the moment with all his positive visions that seem to be coming to fruition. So that'll be interesting to see if Shea Given comes to the club. Um, pretty much you've got to trust Lamps at the moment. He's brought people in who he's worked with before and it's worked so far. So really Chelsea Football Club needs to give him all he wants in my opinion. Provided it's not massively overspending on a really mediocre player but I can't imagine Frank Lampard would make any wild requests like that. Drink war for 35 million. Right, let's talk about it. It's been in the rags for a couple of days now. More and more and more. It started in Spain, funnily enough, but a few British publications have been talking about it too. And that's apparently how Perez and Zidane are looking at Callum Hudson-Odoi and fancy him as a future Real Madrid player. Mm. Now, Callum Hudson-Odoi is obviously recognised around world football as a very talented young player. They don't have to just look at, you know, how he, good he was in the Europa League under Sorry, or how Bayern Munich really, really wanted him, so he must have been good. You know, they got great scouts. But if you look at Callum Hudson Adoy's youth career, the stuff he was doing very, very young, the way he was dribbling around whole teams and scoring goals, a lot of big, big clubs and scouts around the Giants and world football will absolutely recognize his talent. I think after his injury in Bayern Munich went quiet and everyone saw that he got an Achilles injury, probably interest boiled down and went quiet. But the fact how he's recovered double time really fast and he looks absolutely the same player, sure he's probably due a goal for his confidence to go up, but the way he's moving on the ball, it looks like that injury did him no real harm at all. So that's when you sort of expect, you know, Spanish publications to come out and start leaking information and unsettling players and stuff. And to be honest, you could forgive Real Madrid for wanting to start a complete rebuild. They still need to change loads of old guard, remember? And they don't fancy Asensio and Isco and stuff. So they might be thinking, sure, Hazard's good for the moment, and Bale, who's not even playing, but they're like, you know, touching 30. We need to think of the next gen. Let's try and put the feelers out and see if hudson Adoy would come. You know, Mbappe eventually comes for the center forward spot and see if we can plant a seed of doubt in his head. But does this make sense for anyone? No. And is it probably nonsense? Yes. Although with Real Madrid wanting a good player, you know, it could probably not be nonsense. What I'm saying is, Real Madrid have already invested in world-class teenage talent. Rodrigo looks amazing. He's the same age as Callum hudson the Doy, 19. I think they're both 19 now. Anyway, he scored a Champions League hat trick. He scored on his debut. He's an incredibly direct and talented attacking player. And for Real Madrid, they have to see him as the future. But also, even if he hasn't worked out quite how they wanted him to so far, they've got players like Vinicius Jr. They've put a lot of faith and belief into him and they've got to like carry on really. And they do have other young players and stuff. So. He's just signed a five-year deal. Even if they tried to come and get Callum Adoy in a year or two, 
you know, they, it would be loads and loads of money, and he's not proven, proven, proven Hudson Adoy, is he? So for me, this is a nonsense story, but it wouldn't surprise me if it was, you know, big Spanish clubs, they do this, they leak information, or agents leak information. I don't know if it's gonna be Callum Hudson Adoy's brother leaking it, I doubt that. Although, I wouldn't put much past him at the moment. Anyway, information gets leaked to one settler player and club, plant the seed of doubt, or not this, the seed of inspiration in their head. Who knows, there's so many possibilities in this situation. But, you know, a story comes from somewhere. It wouldn't surprise me that a big club wants a good player, but if you look at all the tangible situations, surely it's got to be nonsense, especially with Callum hudson Doy coming out recently and doing interviews for England, interviews for, like, promo stuff, I think, the, you know, what was it, Call of Duty something? Well, he was interviewed a few times, or BT Sport, that was it, when he says, look, I spoke to the coach, I'm really excited to be playing for Chelsea, really excited to be playing for Frank Lampard, and that all looks evident. I think he just needs to get a goal or two. He needs to win his starting place back, maybe at the expense of Willian rather than Pulisic. Everyone's happy. Big Chelsea hero. Great attacking team to play in. Real Madrid are unstable and it's just nonsense, right? Anyway, what do you lot think? Get down in the comments below. Express your thoughts and opinions on Kepa Ariza Balaga's form. Do you think he is the top, top tier goalkeeper that I think he is. He's just got a few problems. What do you think? Get down and let me know. Let me know about that. Let me know about this silly, silly link of Callum hudson Adoy to Real Madrid. And what do you think about Conor Gallagher? Do you think he should come in and replace Barkley? Maybe as soon as January get recalled if Barkley goes out the door? Let me know about that as well. I want to plug to you guys to let you know or to ask you to subscribe to Yan Plays, my sister gaming channel where I play video games, mainly FIFA. It's loads of fun. I'm doing episodes like every day or other day now, so go check it out. Go subscribe, Yan Plays, watch the videos. Follow me on social media on Instagram and Twitter at FootballYannick. And if you want, you can join the Discord server. Uh, via Patreon, the link in the description, and chat to me and everyone about football and Chelsea 24 7. That's it, guys. I'm out. You lot enjoy the football, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life, seen trouble. Hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger, like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle. Bad boy, stay in trouble. I only love this paper. Sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.